I like to talk about the aspect of self-reliance. You know, we see a lot of disasters, and the disasters aren't necessarily in other lands. They're coming closer and closer to our home every day. Think about the Hurricane Katrina's in California. We had Loma Prieta earthquakes, and we've had several uh, several events that have created Hurricane Sandy. That you know, the unexpected of changing our life for uh, the the need to be better prepared. So I'd like to talk about how you become self-reliant. Well, first of all, you make a plan. Think about, first of all, every one of you should have a 72-hour kit, enough food, fuel, and water, clothing, to house yourself and let you stay in place for at least 72 hours until help arrives. And beyond making that 72-hour kit, Every one of you should be thinking about what is your plan for life? Where do you want to be five years from now? In your career, your location, your family, physically? You know, how is your health doing? You know, when you set your plan in place, you work towards that plan and helping you to accomplish. Oftentimes, we get caught up in the day-to-day tasks and responsibilities only to realize time has gone by. And then the question when we look back is, did we do the things that we wanted to do with our life? Are we accomplished the things that we want to? And if we look forward into the future, what different direction would we take? Would we stay on the same course or would we try to do something different that would help us get to another level? A lot of people want to measure happiness in life. When we think about happiness, we often think about financial freedom. What does it take to get us financially free? What does it take to have enough money to accomplish the lifestyle that we want? Well, as a managing partner of a leading CPA firm, we see a number of individuals who have accomplished the great task of of, of reaching great financial rewards in their life. And they will tell me that, Alan, it's not about money. Money will never assure your happiness. In order to find true happiness in life, you need to have balance, balance between your career, uh, stable family, health, and you look at your, your, your health. Uh, when you look at your health, you ask yourself the question, what good is your money if you don't have your health in line? Happiness is always about a balance. And the most key uh, thing between happiness and uh, reaching that is being able to develop key relationship with the people around you. First, your family, your friends, and those who you interact with on a regular basis. Happiness is found when you truly get to know them on an individual level, when you can feel the spirit within them and they can feel your spirit and you can get to know them uh, from a standpoint of what makes you think, what makes them think, and what are you doing to help each other rise in, um, in, in life. There's an old saying that uh, when, uh, when all ships rise, everybody is winning. And uh, happiness comes by enabling others to get to the place that they want to in life.